attention to make room drops. We open it up on Sunday. Oh, that's what they were talking about. Y'all got all the all the classes. All the classes. All the classes have their own college. So this class here is Ole Miss. Class down there is Cornell. So we get the kids ready for college now. That's that's dope. You know that's dope. dope content, bro. That's dope. Me and you can get into an argument, Ma. I get a high, high blood pressure and fall out or something. Hit my head. That's on you now. How are you doing? Hello. How y'all doing? How are you? How you doing, Brian. Brian, nice to meet you, man. Crazy dude. Crazy dude. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? Hey. Alright, now we're going to drop some drops for them, folks. We're going to drop some them. Say your name and say thank you guys for listening to Give the Kids a Voice Radio. Stand back out, Leroy. We're not still doing yeah. stuff. <laughs> Nephews. You crazy, this? Not yet. Did you see that? He said he came over and saw the office. This is he nice. Off. He didn't make it back here yet. When, I, when he came, I just had the tables. Yeah. <laughs> You're listening to Bully Busters 702 Radio. Why do you want to bully me? Is that the little, the little boy we had on? Yeah. What's his name? Uh, James. Christian Thames. Yeah. See you in the hallway, since you're trouble. Think you know, kid, that don't want that trouble. I'm stepping your zone, it's hard to be a kid. Hope you're a fish of hard work, but I'm still here. Tune in the Bomb Squad Radio. We got my man Big Keith over here. We at the 100 Dreams Academy. 100 Academy of Excellence. First radio station in a school at the first Bully Buster office. We're doing a ribbon cutting on Saturday. You guys don't want to miss it. From 12 to 1, August 12th. And don't forget, August 4th, this Friday coming up. That's right, back to school, hosted by Team Talk Bully Buster Radio. You know why, you know why I admire what you did? Because you did it. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't talking about it, you went and did it. And here it is. Tangible learning about these kids. They had a show for a year, and I told them, what did I say in a year, what we was going to have? They yeah, have their own show. Their own station. Their own station. That, that blew their mind, I'm sure. That makes a difference in a kid's life, too, man. You know I like stuff they can do from not even just being on the mic. Production, everything. Because my pastor was saying, like, I remember my pastor saying, we're going to move into a $70 million church, debt-free. And I remember saying, he crazy. <laughs> but we did it. Wow. So it was reality, you know what I'm saying? When it happened, I was like, dang, that's that's awesome. But I got that up, same feeling the kids had when we told them that, you know, they seen it happen. They believe now, you know? So like I said, they did that show for a whole year, getting their stuff together and everything. So, no, they, they deserved it. That wasn't going to stop Is this a TV show we doing? What you got? You, you the Brian Tim's TV? Bomb Squad Radio on YouTube. Oh, oh cool. Radio. Oh, we took the radio show and we be showing people what we do. We went out in the community. What uh, Saturday we went to the Jets. You know, we just chopped it up with folks. We went in the Jets. Put a helmet on and bulletproof vest. Nah, bro, they was beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's they, good. They, it, we, we went from the grandmothers to the thugs. You know what I mean? And everybody was receptive. You know, but I mean, like one of the one of the cats I was telling Craig a minute ago. One of the cats was like. Yo, man, I listen to y'all in 97.5. I said, we got our little shirts on with the app on it. I was like, I don't see nobody from 97.5 out here. He pushed the station, you know what I mean? So it it was yeah, real talk. You know, we they, they see we grassroots. We gonna come at you like that. So. That's like I talked about yesterday at the church. Exactly. Don't no station do what we do, man. Exactly. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Between the talk shows and then see all the DJs and everybody that do stuff is in the community. It's mandatory. Right. Ain't like these other stations where they sit inside and they hope you telling them what's going on. Because if you ain't outside, you don't know. You gotta listen to what people tell you. But what's this, man? The Bully Buster 702 Student Radio Workbook. Is this they work with criteria? The for them? Criteria, what they what they do with their commercials, the reports, everything is in here. This is a whole pretty much a year of no, this is six months right now. Okay, all the reports that they do, drops that they do. So they learn in radio. Learn how to do drops, learn how to do commercials, everything. They got their worksheets. Bully Buster worksheets that they work on. Each, every day that they come in, they have a worksheet and then we talk about certain things. And like, for the first three weeks, a lot of them don't even get on, they don't even get on it. They might see it. You know, the only people that's gonna be on is like Teshi and all them that has the show already. But the kids that's coming in for the program, 
first three weeks, they don't even touch. They don't even get on. They'll hear them and see what is, you know, get them ready for them to be ready to be on here. And then when the kids come from here, they go to Bully Buster 702 kids. So that's the main station. That's the main thing that they want to get to. You know what I'm saying? 100 Academies gonna have their own link. Right. So like now, say, what time is it? Say two o'clock, okay, the 100 Academy show will be coming on. You know what I'm saying? They'll stay on for an hour. Then while I start going, I'm getting other groups to come in that's in the community that are doing positive things. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have them, I'm gonna book them Saturday and Sunday because I have a run in the building. And then they can come in and do an hour show or two hours show, as long as it's all about the community. And that's my whole thing. Even like with our radio station now, I just want to be clean, fun, give people information, you know, from HIV to bullying to you name it, we're gonna have it here. It's gonna be a one stop. So if you go to bullybuster702.org, pop up on the website, and then when you hit the button, when you hit listen, this will pops up. So this is where I'm playing the radio off right now. So man. I, you got a unique set, uh, programming. I, I hear songs that are hits, but it's different artists singing. Where do you get your programming for your station? Like, well, is, we, is it more? My man Banks, we just picking around right. and grabbing music. Grabbing music from a lot of places. That's why, you know, I'm glad I got certified here. I'm gonna get him to put us some clean music on songs, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just gonna get it from everywhere and we load it up and it just keep going. Okay. It's, like but right is it geared towards, like I'm hearing all kids Uptown stuff. Funk, but it's kids singing it. What's the name of it? Kid Hop? Kid Pop. Kid Pop. Pop. Like that, like that. No, that's, cool. Cool. That, that's cool that they gonna hear this. School when starts they back they down the hallway, they hearing some you know good, clean fun. You know, In the mean? morning, the kids gonna do their, their, uh, their morning, you know, say what's going on in school for this week. They get to come and do it here. Can you imagine? Then after the shows is done, the ones that are like now, when we off air, we're just gonna be running. Right. You know, do our little, have the kids come and do their commercial jobs like we do. I ain't even do nothing different when I've been at Power 88 doing. Just brought it over here. See, Same thing. I, I'm going to tell y'all something. You ain't got to reinvent the wheel if it ain't, it ain't broke. Bomb Squad Radio. See? This is what happens when you the oldest intern. <laughs> <laughs> the oldest intern, That's man. all right, though. Get, get to be the oldest intern. That's all I'm saying, because, you know, check this out. I almost, I think I might get a key next week. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I think you might get one, too. Keep That's your fingers crossed, y'all, because I'm tired of banging on that door. I got the gate key. I got the gate code. I'm moving up. I got the gate code, so now I ain't stuck in front of the gate no more. <laughs> now I'm just getting in the building. So, Mr. Knight, you know, I love you. We need to do something. Matter of fact, my birthday comes in September, and it's on a Friday, on the 8th. So I think when we at the Club Tequila, I think that'll be a great birthday gift. Just give it to me, put it in an envelope, and say, Mr. Big Key, this is for you. It's going to be the key to the radio station. And I'll be right back after this. Oh. Uh...